Oh, make that story. Ah, and then they were passing, and then they were passing, yeah. and then they were passing. Yeah. So the restored woman. Yes. It's time for the restored woman. Wow. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. It's time for the restored woman. I'm so excited to be here again, back here in Green FM. And I just want to thank God for his mercies. We thank God for the gift of life. We have come again. And today we continue. We are reading the book of Galatians chapter 3. If you are there, you can help us to open your Bibles or you listening. Very quickly, I read Galatians 3. We are reading verse 13 and verse 14. It says, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Be made a curse for us, for it is written, Cursed is everyone that hanged on a tree that the blessings of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. We are dealing with what is already ours in Christ Jesus. If you are in Christ Jesus, you are listening to me. I want to let you know that there is no longer any curse. No curse is supposed to be manifested in your life. But we see today that even though that we are in Christ, we attend churches, still there are some things from our foundations that are still seen in our lives. Every foundation on earth that is not rooted in Christ, as we all know, before Christ came, the devil has been on rampage in the life of man all over the world. Anywhere you see man is found. That is why Jesus came and died and paid the price. We have already established the fact that Jesus came and died. And anyone that comes to him, he will not cast out. He will accept you. He's not condemning you. We have already established in this platform that it is the devil that is always accusing you. You remember we have read about the woman that was caught in adultery and she was brought to Jesus and Jesus told them, if you are without sin, cast the first stone. Yes, the woman was caught in the very act of adultery and by the law, she was supposed to be stoned. But I want to let you know that whatever law that is keeping you down, Jesus has set you free. And today, if you can accept him as your personal Lord and Savior, no curse can follow you. If there is a curse already walking over your life, over your head, the Lord began to lay in my heart today. He will be breaking every curse that is manifested in the life of people. So if you are hearing us, get ready because that curse that I've been following, you have prayed, you have fasted, you didn't even understand why the thing is following you. You have seen it in the life of your grandmother, your mother, your life and your family. Oh, you see the manifestation of the curse. Today, the power of the Lord is going to be breaking that in the name of Jesus. I read again, he said, Christ has read redeemed us from the curse of the law. There is a curse that comes because of the law. There is a natural law. There are the laws of God. And anytime that we fall short and break the law, there is a curse that always follows. But Jesus, when he came, he died on the cross of Calvary. He was the son of God. He came on earth because God knows that you and I cannot save our lives. We have already established the fact that our righteousness is like filthy rag. Those things you like doing, you want to do to please God. They are all like filthy rag. I want to let you know you can't really please God. No, if you want to please God, you have to come to Jesus and the blood of Jesus will wash you and make you clean. Then will you be acceptable in Christ? So he has redeemed us from the curse of the law. The Bible says he was made a curse. And I speak over your life today. Any curse that is still manifested is an illegal curse as long as you are in Christ. But if you are not in Christ, that curse is permitted to walk in your life. I told us the last time about my friend that, that, that she's already a Christian, but there was a case in her family background. There was a case that was following her, and she didn't even know there was a case. But the thing was always interfering with her progress. She would be writing exams, the thing was there disturbing her until we she just told me about it. We said, Why don't we pray? And when we prayed that night, I saw an encounter where a demon had appeared and was telling me, Why should I pray for her? Because he was giving a legal right over that family. Now she never knew she was a Christian, but standing in the place of prayer. We stood our ground and rebuked the devil. The Bible says submit yourself to God. Then resist the devil and he will flee from you. If you don't submit yourself to God, there is no way you can resist the devil because he's not your age mate. No. He is not your age mate. You are not dragging with him. It is the authority that Jesus has given us that makes us to rebuke the devil. But until you submit yourself to God, you cannot resist the devil. That lady was able to resist the devil because she had a covenant with 
Jesus. Today, I want to employ you. I want to really apply to you. I want to really let you know the best thing for you to do is to hand over your life to Christ. Even if it looks that it's already a damage that is showing in your life because of the case from your family. Maybe it was your father or your mother's lineage. Oh, that was following. I tell you that the power of God can break it. I remember my own life. I came to a particular time in my life. I discovered that something was resisting me. I began to pray and say, God, what is this? And then the revelation came that it came from my mother's family, from the foundation. I asked my mother. She was not aware. It was my grandmother that said, yes, there was something like that. There was a covenant that was made in that family. And do you know what? That thing was speaking upon every child, grandchildren, great-grandchildren from that family. I never knew until I wanted to make progress and the thing was trying to break. But I thank God for the power of God. It was broken. And I want to let you know from your foundation, from whatever it is that is following you, you may not know. You may think it's a coincidence, but no, it is a supernatural working. And when the devil knows you are ignorant of this, he will keep on oppressing your life. But I pray for you out there. Any form of oppression of the enemy, any form of suppression, depression, manipulations, today they are going to be broken as you agree with us in prayers in the name of Jesus. So the Bible says that Jesus has redeemed you from the curse of the Lord. The Bible says that he became a curse for us. He was hanging on a tree and that curse that's supposed to follow you has been on him. So it is not permitted to continue to be on you. If it is on you, then the Christ death on cross of Calvary is not belonging to you. But if you can accept him today, you can submit your life to say, God, I want to go forward. I want to be married and stay married. My mother married. She couldn't stay married. I am married and now I can't even stay married. My children are having the same issue or maybe it's the issue of the kind of life, maybe drunkenness, maybe sexual immorality, maybe addictions to whatever it is. You see the pattern repeating itself in your life and your family members. It is a case that God wants to break. I want to let you know today the power of God is ready to break it. Only if you can submit yourself to Jesus and say, Lord Jesus, please, I invite you to the battles of my life. We have battles every day. If you fight the right way, you win. But if you fight with your own strength, let me tell you, your strength cannot fight this battle. That was why Jesus came and said, come unto me, all you that are heavy laden, all you that are burdened, and I will give you rest. The rest of God is here if only you can accept it. The Bible says that the blessing of Abraham might come upon the Gentiles. We are the Gentiles. The blessings of Abraham came upon us through Jesus Christ. I pray for you that this blessing shall follow you. When this blessing is manifested in your life, any other thing, any other case will stop existing in the name of Jesus. I want to pray for you there. Two people I'm going to pray for once again today. The first category of people that I'm going to pray for are the people who have not really made the Lord Jesus their Lord and personal Savior. Now I want to explain that one. It is not going to church that makes you a child of God. It's not even preaching that makes you a child of God. It's not because you like singing that makes you a child of God. It's not because you are in the choir or evangelism or whatever that makes you a child of God. It is when you have come to Jesus, acknowledged your sin and said, Jesus, forgive me. Cleanse me with the blood of Jesus. I want to be born again. Wash me and accept me. Write my name in the book of life. And then you begin to receive the power to live as a child of God. That is when you become a child of God. So I want to make sure you are in Christ. Even if you are going to church and you are not sure that God is at peace with you. You are not sure that you are at peace with God. You are not sure that if anything happens to you today, you will make heaven. You are not sure that if rapture takes place now, you are going. Make sure you pray this prayer. I want to pray again. Say after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you as I receive your word. I ask you to forgive my sins. I know I'm your child, but I've been offending you. Oh, Lord, let the power in the blood of Jesus wash away my sin. Wash away my guilt. Any curse in my life, in my lineage today, oh, Lord, I ask that you take it away. Let the blessings that is in Abraham, that came upon Abraham, 
now according to your word let it begin to formal my life today in the name of jesus i pray for you if you pray that prayer i ask that the hand of god be established in your life and i ask right now wherever you are located all over hearing this one i declare the power of the enemy is broken over your life i ask that from today your life moves forward i declare in the mighty name of jesus by the authority in the blood of jesus your sins are forgiven through christ jesus and as you have confessed your sin the lord have accepted you and he will let you know that you belong to him from henceforth and i want to pray for the next category the category of people are people that are already born again but you notice that you are having a struggle oh this is burning so much in my heart because the lord told me today pray and that will break in the life of my people that are undergoing the curse and deliver them from the curse and the curse is still effective in their life because they don't understand the bible says my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge they don't know that these things belong to them and because they don't know the enemy is still manipulating it is like you know how having any cash no money in your hands you don't know that to have some money somebody has sent you money in your in your in your mobile money you have not received the alert and because of that you didn't even know you have money and you are hungry and you are looking for food to eat and you don't have the money that is lack of knowledge and you are there wallowing in sin not wallowing in in, in empty handedness and hunger not knowing you have money that is how it is the knowledge that you don't know the enemy can use it to afflict you but today God wants to let you know that what belongs to you as a child of God and the devil has been cheating on you after tonight everything the enemy has been using to hinder your life is broken in the name of Jesus as you pray this prayer I want you to make demand that the hand of the devil shall be broken over your life the Bible says I've given you power over all the powers of the enemy and as you stand your ground as a child of God if even those that just prayed for the prayer of forgiveness today and those that have been in Christ who are going through struggle I want to assure you what God told me today he told me I'm going to break the curses in the life of the people and their life will go forward now say after me say heavenly father I want to pray I want you to pray this prayer with authority I want you to pray this prayer with conviction and I want you to pray this prayer with anger because everything the devil have done in your life shall be broken say after me say heavenly father in the name of jesus today i take my authority in christ jesus and i reject every case everything the enemy has been bringing my way that i have been accommodating today i rebel against it and i declare that everything belonging to me in jesus i receive it i receive my marriage i receive my health i receive my finances i go forward in the name of jesus now i want to pray for you father lord i thank you for every man every woman every boy every girl hearing my word today you told me you're going to break the power of sin you told me you're going to break the power of the enemy the curses and the heavy burden the devil has put upon the life of the people you say by the reason of the anointing every yoke shall be broken i declare that every Every yoke in the life of these people, every heavy burden the enemy have put in their life, I declare today they are broken in the name of Jesus. I command you, the devil, to lose your hold over the life of the people of God today. Their businesses will go forward. Their life will go forward. Every manipulation that have been revealed in their life today is no longer effective from today. In the name of Jesus, I speak the blood of Jesus over you, and I pray that you grow in the knowledge of the word of God when you grow in the knowledge of the word of God oh you begin to overcome every manipulations of darkness God bless you in the name of Jesus this is once again the restored woman and we are targeted at raising up our sisters those that think that it is over with them those that are thinking that they have made so many mistakes and there is no hope again this is a platform where God assures you that it doesn't matter you may be broken but you are still beautiful you may be bruised but you are, you are still useful and God wants to let you know that it doesn't matter the mistakes you have made in your past God has forgiven you he wants you to get back on your feet and become all that you should be God bless you I want you to follow us in our Facebook page The Restored Woman you check us out there and if you want to reach me please my number is this 
प्लस टू थ्री थ्री फाइव फाइव टू सेवन एट जीरो सिक्स जीरो वन आई रिपीट इट अगेन प्लस टू थ्री थ्री फाइव फाइव टू सेवन एट जीरो सिक्स जीरो वन गॉड ब्लेस यू हैव अ वंडरफुल डे Come to me, all you are weary and heavily loaded, and I will give you rest. And I repeat again: Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, I will give you rest. Matthew chapter eleven, verse twenty-eight. Oh, make it.